everyone, it's Savannah for KelownaNow.com. I am here at Craft Culture for their spring market for 2017 at the Kelowna Curling Club. There is over 120 vendors here, it's amazing. We're going to talk to some of the people who are attending as well as some of the vendors. Okay, so have you attended the spring Craft Culture Fair before? No, oh, this is my first time. And what are your thoughts so far? It's great, yeah, lots of neat local things to check out. And yeah, over 100 vendors. So what are you sort of looking for today? What do you think you're going to find? Um, I just like seeing all the new things that are out and things that people are making locally. And yeah, the kombucha was one that I really wanted to try and uh, Meadow Vista Winery, so yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm here with Tim from Penticton and he makes some beard oils and some other interesting products. Can you tell me a bit about it? Yeah, sure, I make, uh, I make beard oils and beard balms. Uh, they're all handmade, small batch, natural ingredients. Great for keeping the, uh, the beards moisturized and, and looking splendid. That's awesome. So you said a lot of your stuff is organic products, right? Uh, natural products, yeah. yeah. Some of the ingredients are, are organic, but uh, it's all natural. And so you're based out of Penticton. Do you have a pretty good following here in Kelowna as well? I do. It's getting better, yes. Uh, I sell through, uh, through the, a couple of stores in, in Orchard Park Mall. And uh, Tommy Gunn's Barber Shop is looking at carrying my products now. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, things are looking up. Well, congratulations. What does it mean for you to be able to come to an event like this uh, surrounded by other local vendors? Oh, I love, I love doing events like this. I love doing the markets. It's a great way to interact with the users, with the, the people that are buying and using the product, answer their questions, really educate them on it, and get the feedback on what they like and you know, which, which fragrances are their favorite. And you know, I hear lots of stories about how it's you know, made their, their beards that much better and their, their wives and their sisters, their daughters, their mothers love it. So I, I love the, the interaction with the people. Okay, you guys, I'm here with Laura. She's the owner of West Coast Beads. How does it feel to be here today as a vendor? It feels absolutely amazing. It's such a great event to be at. And so what is your product exactly? I make baby accessories, modern baby accessories. Uh, they're 100% food grade silicone, so they're perfectly safe for baby to chew on and for a mommy to wear. That's amazing. And so what, what does it mean to you to have an event like this where as a local vendor you can come out and you can showcase your product? It means everything because I'm based online. So to have an event like this where I can come out and meet all of my clients face to face and talk with them and have them feel the products themselves, it, it's amazing. It's everything. Guys, this is Kendra. She's working here at the Briars Cottage booth selling some beautiful candles. Uh, what does it mean to you as a vendor to be able to come to an event like this that supports local vendors? It's wonderful. As a starting out company, it's great to have the opportunity to have a location with tons of different local vendors and to get to know them. We've gotten to know um, like our neighbors here. We've seen them at multiple different um, uh, events throughout the years and this is our second year being in, in a, as a company so it's great to get to to know people and to see them and Carolyn who won, who runs the event is wonderful she's so great to work with okay so is this your first time at the craft culture spring fair yes it is yeah what do you think so far uh, it's awesome there's tons of vendors here it's amazing a lot of local products have you grabbed anything yet yeah. what'd you get <laughs> I will show you it is the oh my goodness dressing it's amazing, they do carry it in Urban Fair as well. I bought it last time. <laughs> awesome. So you got some goodies for the kitchen. Are you thinking maybe like grabbing some jewelry or what do you think? Probably, I haven't had a chance. We just started, so we just got here. We're gonna be here for another hour or so. <laughs> do you have any local vendors that you sort of keep an eye on? Um, I like to keep an eye on like the Okanagan Candle Co, I believe. I don't know if they're here yet today. I haven't had a chance to see, but hopefully they are. Okay, you guys, I have found Danielle and she's attending the market today. So what are your thoughts so far? Uh, it's fantastic. It's a lot bigger than I actually thought it was going to be. So, uh, and then lots of different people from all over. It's been quite fun to go around. <laughs> and I see you grabbed something there. What did you find? Um, I have a little uh, pendant here. Um, so it's just like a minimalistic um, jewel pendant and it's uh, something that I can wear to work, which I like. <laughs> yeah, and it's cool that it was made by someone locally, maybe from Exactly, Florida. and someone that I actually know locally in town, so. <laughs> Supporting friends, that's amazing. Exactly. Why do you think it's important to support local artisans? because there's so many people out there that can mass produce and, and you know just to make a profit and it's nice to see that people are actually putting like their heart and soul into something and then that shows through in their work and what they produce and so it's really nice to be able to support those kind of people and, and yeah. 
And there you guys have it. You have seen it here at the Kelowna Curling Club for the Craft Culture Spring Market. There is tons going on. It is going on from Saturday until Sunday, 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. both days. So make sure you come and check it out.